Hey folks, this is Johnny and welcome to another uh, Studio One video and this one I'm laughing because I, I worked on this for like an hour <laughs> before I actually shot this video. All right, so I am going to show the most reliable way to move a song from one computer to another. Okay, so now there's a couple of advantages if you're using Studio One 5 or Studio One 6. I'm going to show you two ways. One for older versions of Studio One, like Studio One, Two, or Three, or Four, and then I'm gonna, uh, and I'm also gonna show you the ones for going from five to six. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the classroom. Now, this is actually, uh, I, I've, <laughs> I had a real problem finding the best way to do this, and I tested this moving from my Mac to the PC. So I'm gonna show you what I found here. All right, so here is a song. We are actually in Studio One Five. Let me go back to the start page because the icons are different. There we go, Studio One Five. You can see that right down there. All right, so let's go back to the song. <clears throat> All right, so I've already gone ahead. Here's the song. Uh, there we go. All right. So that's the song, and it's just WAV files. So this is going to apply apply to any kind of song, whether you're using instrument tracks or anything else. The thing to remember for instrument tracks is make sure you have the same VST instruments on the other machine, or you're going to have to bounce them down. You're going to have to bounce those tracks down, or do a transform to audio, and then and then save that and move that. Hopefully that makes sense to you, but I tested a bunch of different ways, and I found the best one. The worst thing that you can do, especially if you're going from Mac to PC or PC to Mac, at least in my experience doing this video, don't just take the file and move it to an external drive and take that external drive and hook it up to the other computer. It works sometimes, but sometimes files get lost or you get an error during the copy. I'm not sure if that's a rights issue or maybe just some sort of uh, file difference moving from one platform to the other, but I did find two ways that work best. So let's start with going from Studio One Five to Studio One Six. So in Studio One Five, here is our song, the best, and it works 100% of the time. Going from five to six, even to a new machine, is to go to song, no, I'm sorry, go to file and go to convert to and convert to zip. Now, the reason why this is the best way and it works 100% of the time is because the zip file is closed. So anything that's put in the zip file will open perfectly in the next version of Studio One. Of, of course, going up, I believe only five and six have this option. All right, so I'm going to say zip file. And I'm actually going to save this to the desktop. And here it is, song canvas, song rendered. And I'm just going to say move. <clears throat> there we go. And, of course, you'll have these to do. Now, we don't want to upload the sphere in this case, although you can. It's a good way to move it uh, to another person's computer. So I'm going to click OK. Perfect. So now I have this song now on the desktop. So there it is right there. Okay. Now we are going to close this song, and we're going to close Studio One 5. All right, so I don't, I can't shoot two different machines in this video, so let's pretend we're on the other machine. I'm going to open up Studio One Six. Now watch this. This is actually quite cool. Studio One Six is going to open. Sometimes it's a little slow. I've only got eight gig of RAM on this Mac Mini M1, but for actually doing songs, it works beautifully. I don't do like 100 track songs, so 8 gig of RAM is just fine for my purposes. All right, get the bouncing ball. <laughs> All right, there we go. It actually found the mixer and it found Melodyne. Okay, so here we are. So now 
Watch this. I'm just going to move this over a little bit. All I have to do is take this zip file and plant it right there. And it opens up the song. Boom. <laughs> Everything is here. Nice. Yep. Now, this is important. You're wanna, gonna go to File. You're gonna wanna say Save As. Well, let's see what happens if I just click Save. See if I just click Save. There we go, that's the one I was looking for. So, it's gonna say this file has been created with an older version of Studio One. After saving the file, you will not be able to load it in the old version. So, <laughs> if you want, if you want to make sure, just go ahead and go to File, Save As, and we're going to call this V6, and boom, now it's saved. So, let's see, let's go to the Start page. And there we go. There's the V6. Let's see where it's stuck at. There we go. So now, by default, if you remember, the actual song was here on the desktop. So in using the Save As, what this did is it went ahead and it placed this song inside the Studio One folder right where it should go so whatever default studio one folder you have it's going to save it there let's actually hover the mouse let me go back here let me hover the mouse and you can see it's on my external drive studio one songs sound canvas now i have an external drive as the default drive for my studio one but the good thing to know is that you didn't have to move this to the song folder because when you do the save as that is where it is going to place that new version of the song now the cool part is is we now can actually still open this in studio one version five so the zip file format to move over in my opinion is the safest one all right so let's, if you've got an older version of Studio One and you don't have the uh, convert to zip, let's go ahead back to Studio One Five. Let's open up Studio One Five. So I'm going to show you the other way that I like that works 99.9% .9 of the time. <laughs> so the, the way that I'm going to do this here is the save to a new folder which does everything except zip the file so i'm gonna open this up we're gonna go ahead and open up the sound canvas song again there we go now we're going to go to file and we're going to say oh no actually no we go to song and we say do, 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 do. Oh, maybe it is still file. New, close, save new version. We don't want that. There it is. I missed it the first time. Okay, so this time we're going to do save to a new folder. Here's the dialog box that opens up. Now, I don't want this going into the actual song folder. So once again, I'm going to choose the desktop. And I am going to call this one move also. So now, if I hit save, it's going to do its thing. And there we go. So now, here is the song in a new folder. So now, what you would do, you could do a couple of things here. Let's see. What are we going to do here? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to close this. There we go. All right, so I'm going to open up V6. Now, I actually didn't test this when I was practicing. So I want to see if this actually works. So here's version 6. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can drag that folder. Just like we did the zip file. I don't think we can. 
but I didn't think of this when I was testing. So let's see what happens here. <clears throat> yeah, my, my, there it goes. My mixer takes so long to initialize sometimes. All right, so let's do this. Okay, so let's say we moved this. We dropped it on a thumb drive, and we brought it over to the new computer. Can I do this? No, I can't. Okay, that's good. All right, so let's put this back here. Well, it's not good, but <laughs> it makes sense. So in this case, in this case, this is what we have to do. We have to go to open. And we're going to go to the desktop. And we are going to look for the folders on the desktop. And we are looking for sound canvas song. There we go. And this is the one that says move. And I'm going to say open. There we go. There's the song. There's the cache. And there's the media folder. If you did any mix downs on the other machine, there'll be a mix down folder. If you did any bounces, there'll be a bounce folder and things like that. So I'm just going to click on this file and I'm going to say open. And boom. Perfect. It actually worked well. So that's how you would do it if you were moving from one computer to another, but also moving from an older version of Studio One, like say version four or older to version six. The uh, same applies if you're going from version three to version five or from version four to version five. All right. So let's see. Let me go ahead and now close this. And I'm going to save it. Ah, there it is again. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and I am going to, what am I going to do here? You know what? I'm just going to say yes in this case. Just going to say yes. And now we have two versions, one that says move and one that says six. You saw how I did this in the first half of the video. And then here is the one that I did just the folders. Remember, this was the zip and this is the folder. Now, this is extremely important. If you notice that when I did the zip file, it moved it into the Studio One song folder. This did not. This did not do that. So <laughs> right now you are referencing that song right from the desktop and you really don't want to do that. So here's, let's see, there's a couple of ways to do this. I can actually just go ahead. I'm, I can close Studio One. And I can open up my finder and I can go to my external drive and I can go to, let's see if I can studio one and I can go to songs. There we go. And I can just go ahead and move this here. Let's see. Oh, there's already one there. So let's do this. Let's stop. Let's not even do anything. So let's change this title to new. And now we're going to bring this over and we're going to move this here. There we go. Now it's in there. So now this is important. Now what you want to do is you want to double click. I know this seems long. I really, I, I understand. And so now we're actually going to open up the song again. It should open up in, in version six, and it does. But we have to remove something from the recent files list. Everybody's like, you know what? I'm just going to do, do the zip file. So, I mean, if you have that option. All right, so let's. Let's give this thing a chance. There we go. It's opening up. Bump, 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 bump. And it should open the song right up. Okay. There we go. The song is open. Now, here's the interesting part. I'm going to go to file. I'm going to say close. And yes, I want to save it. There we go. So now, here is the one that was on the desktop. Watch what happens when I click on this. It says it's missing. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we remove it. It's going to ask me if I want to remove it from the recent files list. We're going to say yes. 
And now we have the song in the song folder, the one that used to be here. It is, it can be a long, drawn out process. Okay. So if you are moving, what are we, <laughs> in the end here, <laughs> in the end here, if you are going to move songs from one computer to another, you can try to just copy them to a drive and then plug that drive in on the new computer, but it doesn't always work. So make sure you test it first. So if you test it and you're like, oh my God, it's saying all these files are missing. Then what you're going to want to do is if you have the option for the zip, do it that way. Or if you're on a really old version of Studio One, you want to go ahead and save to a new folder. <laughs> All right. I hope that that made sense. Uh, it can be long and drawn out, but I hope you guys understand. Sometimes things work the way you want to. If you're going from PC to PC, I don't think you'll have trouble. If you're going from Mac to Mac, I don't think you'll have trouble. But if you're going to from a Mac to a PC or from a PC to a Mac like I did, it's really important that you uh, that you uh, try these steps that I've shown you here. All right, that takes care of that. I'll see you guys in the next video.